This is how you can turn this boring and flat looking texture into this 3D looking texture in Unity. So I have this simple photo of a brick wall and the first thing that we're going to do is actually drag and drop that into Unity. And let's close that and now we can see we have our texture here. The next thing that we are going to do is right click here and create a material. There it is. Let's just call that brick and let's go. Alright, now let's drag in our brick wall into the albedo here. And to actually add that to a object, we of course need a object. So let's right click here, go to 3D object and let's just uh, use a sphere here. Alright, let's drag and drop this onto our sphere and we can see that this doesn't look really good. This looks kind of flat and also doesn't really look like a real brick wall. So there are a few things that we are going to need to fix in that material here. Um, we're gonna add a lot of more textures in here. So the first thing that we're actually going to do, we can play with these two sliders here. Obviously our material, our brick wall is not metallic so we're gonna leave that at zero but it's also not really that smooth. So let's put it to a 0.3 or yeah 0.3 value. Alright but it still doesn't look really that good. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to this website which you can also find in the description and we can upload our image here and turn that into a black and white image. So let's just select our image here and we can see that we can actually convert this for free into a black and white image. Now let's download our image and save it in our downloads and the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to another website and this time we are going to invert the image. Now to do that we're going to go to this website which you can also find down in the description and let's select our black and white image of our brick wall. So let's search for it and let's select our black and white image and let's invert this one and we can see it here. Alright, so let's save this as a PNG and now the last step that we're actually going to do is go to another website which is called Normal Map Online and you can of course also find that in the description. And let's go to height map here and we can drag in our inverted image that we just created. And it should automatically create a so-called normal map and also a occlusion map. So we have our normal map here and we can check and we can actually download this one too. Alright, let's save it. Next we're gonna click on ambient occlusion and download this map too. Let's save that and now we can finally get back into Unity and we need to import all of these maps that we just created. So the first one will be the inverted color map, the next one will be our normal map and now the last one which will be our occlusion map. And if we can now go into our material here we can already see that we can drag in the normal map here, we can drag in the height map which will just be our inverted image and we can drag in our occlusion map. Alright, we can fix this, click here fix now and now it already looks a lot better but we can play with these sliders here to make it look even more realistic. I think we can leave that at that and we can maybe put this down a bit or if you like it you can also maybe put it up, alright, something that's a bit too much but I think that looks a lot better. And this already is kind of it. You can of course already, um, you can of course play with these sliders a lot more. Maybe we can also play with the color a bit to make it a bit more brownish. And now that looks a lot better. Alright, but you, now you can see that we've turned a flat texture into this 3D looking and much more detailed texture in just 5 minutes. And if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next one.